Aaron, this is the first time I've been to Jack's house. I'm going to start with a poem that was inspired by a poem that Jack wrote. Uh -huh. um, Jack wrote a poem called Stream Road several years ago, and the one line was, the moon will be everything tonight. He forgot to bring a lantern or anything to light this campsite. So my poem is called, The Moon is Everything. The moon is everything tonight. I brought no battery clunky thousand watt lantern on this camping trip, nor firewood. I pitch my tent in the meadow. The dark rises from the grass with crickets and cadenced song as the last sunlight slides off treetops. I sit under heaven, no bonfire flames with glittering shadow plays to divert my vision. The moon, that scarred old lady, wise in her silence, lights my meditation. By the tree line, shadows of deer browse, an owl calls. When I crawl into my sleeping bag, the clockwork cradle of stars rocks me, and the midnight dew pattering on the tent fly becomes a lullaby. Start from the beginning of the day. This is me getting up in the morning. Blank. This morning my mind is a blank, as a piece of paper when the pencil is lost. Or maybe my mind stepped from my body while I slept. That's not tinnitus buzzing in my ears. It's the echoes bouncing like worms in a jumping bean around my empty skull. Coasting on my brain stem, I eat breakfast. The rest of my gray matter goes walkabout, trailing nerves and synapses <laughs> like a spider scuttling under furniture, where I hope it and the cat don't tangle. I don't need claw furrows across my frontal cortex, though, perhaps, Bad-tempered as my morning brain can be, the cat is the one in danger. <laughs> <laughs>